We'll see you then. Meantime, the COVID-19 pandemic is a challenging time for everyone, right? Including our military families and veterans. And today, Virginia Senator Mark Warner heard from local families about the help they need during these difficult times. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton has the update. With COVID-19 continuing its grip on the nation, a familiar problem is more of a challenge, housing for military families. COVID has presented a lot of problems for military housing. Among them, no Katie longer. Beasley, who's part of an active duty Marine Corps family, says there's been issues getting private military housing inspected during the pandemic. I do believe the third party inspectors were helping. Beasley raised her concerns during a virtual town hall meeting with Virginia Senator Mark Warner this afternoon. What you say is an obvious problem and I, I will, you know, this is something we can, this is an action item we will get on today. Warner has been talking about issues in military housing for years and says once again, this has his attention. I think we've made some incremental progress, um, but in this year's defense authorization bill, we're even going further in, in terms of making sure we can give more power, more accountability. Congresswoman Elaine Lurio is also part of the virtual town hall, along with state and local leaders. Other concerns raised include veterans getting government jobs, concerns about children going back to school, and whether VA hospitals have enough staffing. Warner says private sector doctors just get paid more, so turnover is high, but he has tried to help. He's also hopeful a new VA center will finally open on the south side in a few years. It has been a bureaucratic nightmare. And with the ongoing pandemic, Warner is worried mental health issues, which are a particular concern for the military and veterans, will become worse. I think the mental health issues we're going to face from this pandemic will outlast the direct virus issues. Issues he hopes to address as the pandemic continues. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.